infamous computer networks. So this is where, where, where we really started improvising, right? So 20, 25 lectures, okay? And they are primarily meant to compensate for the fact that most of you guys have not taken any course in computer network, okay? Right? That's the theory. It's not that, hey, you didn't take any course, now I'm going to torture you, right? That's not what was going through my mind when I created that content, right? I myself don't have any background in computer networks. Well, I've taken one course in undergrad, but that was a long time ago. So I had to learn and relearn a lot of these things myself, which I enjoy doing, okay? I don't mind it. I mean, that's my job now. But um, the point is that within this, no, it's not all hard, okay, Nolan? I think you guys didn't attend the session, right? Alexander, did you, did you guys, Alex, did you guys attend the session that we had? There were a bunch of easy topics in here. So how about we start out by identifying easy, all right? So this was not even mentioned, so we can't really rate it, right? So let's just call it easy. Network topologies, was it difficult, guys? It was easy, super easy, in fact. Network types, was it difficult? It was easy, super easy, right? Network models, was it difficult, right? Uh, let's let's throw protocols in here, right? Um, it's, I know it's OSI model, TCP IP model, but let's throw protocols in there as well because IPv4, IPv6, TCP, UDP, ICMP, we went through all of them, right? So that, considering the protocols in there, we're going to say it's medium, right? Network intrusion detection prevention, this was one of those rare times when I told you guys that in the interest of time, you can skip it, right? If you have the on-demand, you have access to the on-demand, so run through it. I have put in the time and effort, but you know, it's one of those areas where I don't know, like the small stuff like CIA, right? Confidentiality, integrity, and availability, right? Um, you are what you know, what you, you know, uh, something you know, something you do, that, that type of stuff. Those are low low hanging fruits and then firewall basic understanding of this and that. So let's let's call it easy still, but it's difficult medium because there's a lot to it. Network security, and let's just call network security as RSA and Diffie Hellman and Maccabi cyclomatic, right? Diffie Hellman and Maccabi's, right? How are you gonna you guys gonna rate it? Medium, right? Now, very doable. I know that the, if you don't have background in RSA, there's something to learn here. What did I say about RSA, guys? Remember? Very few topics that I use this word in three months. RSA algorithm was my personal favorite, intellectually, right? It is it is amazing, right? I don't know for the exam or what whatever, but I actually had to learn it for the first time for FE myself, right? So it's 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 really interesting. Diffie Hellman, very mathematical, trap door. Remember? Okay. And Maccabi cyclomatic complexity is it's a it's a you know piece of cake. So they might look intimidating, right? But in the on demand, we've gone through it in detail. In live training, we went through it in detail. So now you take a step back and whoever was saying that it's hard all the way through, right? It looks like a very different picture though, right? It looks like a very different picture, right? It is actually a little bit on the easier side of things. What makes it difficult is that you don't know what you need to focus on. And that's why you guys were, uh, that's why we went through it in detail. And this was a single large, uh, longest session. This session, I timed it. Well, the raw recording that I uploaded it was three hours and 45 minutes long, right? For just four to six questions. There were topics that were, uh, there were sections that were twice the size, roughly at say, uh, you know, seven to eight, we, which we finished in roughly half the time, right? So the effort to reward ratio, unfortunately, is not there for computer network. But guys, we cannot risk four to six points on the exam. If you do that, that can be the difference between you passing and failing, and you'll find yourself preparing for the exam again, or the worst case scenario is that you give up and you don't want to do that, okay? So you've come this far, make sure that you leverage this, okay? Computer systems, um, one of those last few sections that we did, right? Five to eight questions. Microprocessor, how do you want to rate it? It's a wild card. Remember that symbol that I used for microprocessors, right? We don't know. It can be super easy. It can be super difficult. There's nothing, literally very little information about it in the handbook, right? They only talk about the architecture and that can be considered a general discussion as well. So let's call it a medium. Now this is cache, right? Memory technology and system. It was all about cache memories, replacement policy, write policy, addressing, and this and that. So there are some nuances involved in there, right? Uh, index being zero for this and then calculating log base two. You know, I think that the based on the feedback that I got after the session from a lot of students was that, again, visualization. When we were able to map the cache and actually identify how many rows it has and do sort of those validations and verifications, students found that really helpful. And some of them said that, okay, I actually now know uh, computer systems a lot better, right? And feeling it, it's going to be a strength for me, right? Uh, so let's call it medium, okay? Um, interfacing, interfacing, how do you define interfacing? It's like, it goes back to the architecture 
right uh, goes back to you know the io and what not um, addressing is probably addressing modes can be considered interfacing which is a complete omission so again they have yeah we spoke about it right computer network four to six questions they have 16 18 pages in the reference handbook this guy has uh, five to eight questions on the high end it is twice as much as computer networks on the low end right but they have one and a half pages on it, right? It is what it is. So again, sort of a wild card, but I think the on-demand content has enough details that if you put the time and effort, it should be fine. So let's call it medium, okay? So overall, computer systems, for one reason or another reason, it is a little bit medium, right? And I would agree that in the NC sample exam, they have two very interesting problems on computer systems, which some students actually confuse with digital systems. It's not digital systems, it's really computer systems, right? And those questions are just out of the left field, right? There is just, I mean, they just shock you. Like you are giving a com complete architecture and then expecting me to do this and that when no references is, is provided in the, com in the handbook. But they, these can be considered as exceptions and you're bound to see questions like those, right? I mean, remember that about 10 questions on the actual exam are experimental questions. So you might run into issues, but that's where you need to remember that after having done what you have done, putting the time and effort and going through the program, if you're finding it difficult, just remind yourself that the other person who is just trying to wing it, no chance. Okay. So there are a few wildcards in computer system, but if you keep our focus on stuff that is very manageable, mathematical, the formulas, the cache, and this and that, I think we can deal with it very comfortably. The worst case, the, you know, the worst thing you can do is skip it completely. Please don't do that. And then uh, this is a repetition, apologies, and then software. This is what we did yesterday, guys. It should be fresh in our minds. How do we deal? Uh, how are algorithms? How do we read algorithms? Bubble sort, insertion sort, merge, quick. Glad to see that you guys are considering it easy now, right? I'm sure that before yesterday's session, a lot of you probably rated as medium or hard. Is that correct? At least that's a feedback I got yesterday from uh, at the end of the survey, right? So let's rate it as easy. Data structures. So you have the arrays, the linked list, the stacks, and the queues. By the way, NCS sample exam has a couple of problems on stacks and queues, which are literally served on the silver platter, literally served on the silver platter right? But if you don't know what pop and push is, and you decide to skip all the content from the on-demand course regarding Q and NQ, DQ and pop, push and stacks and this, you don't stand a chance. That problem cannot be winked. Okay. It, I was going through it and I'm going to talk more about it as said. I mean, I was going through the sample exam myself. It took me 10 seconds to answer it. I'm not bragging about it. I'm sure that those of you have gone through that. It would take you maybe 15 seconds, 20 seconds. Okay. Still, it's a giveaway, but you cannot guess it. That's the point, right? But we focus on trees and graphs, the algorithms in order, pre-order, post-order and BFS and DFS and some terminology around uh, trees and whatnot, right? So how would you rate this, guys? Overall, this was not too bad, right? I would say it's easy. And software implementation is so easy that I was like, you know, it's just too easy, right? It's project management. Now you take a step back and look at what software is looking like. It is the only section and I can go through it. I'm making a, keeping a mental track where we have all ease. Okay. And I'm not, I'm not faking this, right? I'm not talking you guys into it, right? Just one session and all of a sudden, when we take a systematic approach towards it, it tends to be one of the most intimidating sections. And now you guys are saying it's all easy. I'm, I'm, that doesn't mean that the actual exam questions are going to be super easy. They can still, you know, throw curveballs at you, but you know that you have the confidence and potentially the competence to deal with every problem or at least put up a fight. At least with all ease over here, it's not going to be an outright zero, even if you don't have any software background. Mm -hmm.